hi everyone and welcome back and in this video we are going to actually write a hello world application with react and redux okay so i already have created some placeholders so what you need to have is create a proper folder structure so this is your src in src you can create your actions containers reducers and index.js okay because you need to have a proper folder structure to put your all reducers together, all actions together, all container component together. And finally, index.js, where you will mount your component on particular DOM node, there you will be passing the provider. Okay. So we will go one by one. First, we will talk about the component, a basic component level. Okay. This is where we will write our component and what we want is a simple button. What that button will do is that button, whenever you click onto that button, you should be able to send an action to Redux layer and we should be able to add a message, hello world to the state, that's it. This is what we want. So this component I have created, this is a hello component. Now what I wanted to do is here I'm creating container component that will, able, that will be talking to your Redux layer. And how we can establish communication between React and Redux is using the connect, right? So here we are already using connect from React Redux, right? Now we can actually define these two methods, map state to props and map dispatch to props. Uh, here you can see I am exporting const, const hello world and it is actually using connect middleware. Again, what I'm passing is two things map state to props map state to props and then another method is map dispatch to props these two methods i need and last argument i will be passing my component which i have created hello component okay so this is what we are doing and we are exporting this hello world. Now we need to define these both the methods, what they are actually doing. Const. So here we have two methods, const map state to props, map dispatch to props. That these methods we will write. So I will create a placeholder. Const map dispatch to props. What all things they are doing. So in this component, what we are doing is we are triggering one on-click action. Okay. So let's see how we manage it in our container component. So map dispatch to props is something where we are actually managing sending action to the Redux layer. So here we have a dispatch and on props. So what we can do is what we have to return this on-click method. This onclick method is exposing and actually calling this dispatch method to dispatch the click action. What we are doing is we are dispatching this action to the Redux layer and which is hello world. This is the action name which we are getting. Okay, now we can define the action in the actions. Okay, coming back to our actions. Here in the actions we can define what we want to put in action. So these are the action creators, right? Action creators are nothing but here we'll just create export const hello world. In this hello world, what we have is it is returning a JSON object. What it is returning is type and type is hello world, right? This is action creator, nothing but a simple function, which is giving me this object. This I will be sending to reducers. Okay. And now, so this is our container component we have created. In the container component, we have both map state to props and map dispatch to props. Map state to props can be used to capture the state from our Redux layer. So here we can just get the message which is in the available in the state state dot hello world this is our state and from that we can get the message so how we are getting it because we are passing state 
and two arguments on props okay and from this state we are actually extracting this parameter hello world dot message and now this message can be used inside this component as a props dot message similarly message and props dot message when you click on to this button we are doing props dot on click and that is being handled in this container component on click props dot on click will be dispatch this hello world action there okay now we can actually write our reducer which is a simple function what reducer will do is here we'll just have one simple method const hello world okay in this we will have a current state current state can be a uh, simple i have just a message which is hello okay this is my current state and next argument i have the action okay this is arrow function and here i can just do a switch inside switch i can check action dot type based on action dot type i will decide if your case is hello world then i will just say console.log i'm inside a reducer okay what we can do is we can return a new state so how we do it return object dot assign right this is what we can do and first of all if this is hello world then we will create a new state from it this is the existing state and what we are updating is third argument is something which we are updating message okay message now become hello world this is how object dot assign works it is going to create a new object from the existing state by overriding this message right we return this and for the default case we will return the existing state simple code no any complex logic and from here we can actually combine the reducer i mean we are going to create a store by passing the root reducer so here we will say uh, we can say root reducer because we don't have a multiple reducers in this application so we'll be using combine reducers and in the combine reducer we are combining the state of this reducer in the hello world object okay and here is my hello world function we can export this export default root reducer that's it so here is our reducer we are getting the root reducer here instead of this you can have multiple reducers together like hello world profile state can be some something like this profile which is an empty object okay if you are getting a message action type is consider update profile action dot type in that case what you will do is you will actually update a profile with the payload we are getting sorry so here in the action dot payload there may be another action which you are triggering and sending something in the payload right this is how our another reducer and this reducer will hold the state in the single state tree like this profile and profile reducer right so if you wanted to access something from the profile then you have to do using state dot profile dot hello world this is how you will be accessing the state okay now we can actually pass this as a root reducer it will be now our reducer is done we have two random reducers created and we combine them we got root reducer and then we are exporting it now what else is left container component reducers actions we have created now index.js in index.js we are actually going to create a store from the reducer so here we can say we are getting root reducer 
we can put any name it's a default export root reducer and for now what you can do is you can actually call create store method from our redux library and you can pass the root reducer this we will see what we are doing here in some time so we got the reducer we are creating store and we are passing the store so this is the final step in the provider we are wrapping our components so that our components can access whatever is available in the store this fancy thing we have done only to enable the redux dev tools okay and we have created just a wrapper final create store method and we are just passing create store this is the line of code which will enable the redux dev tool for us we just need to actually install redux dev tool on your chrome browser and it will enable it so we can actually compose here we can pass the middlewares also for our redux middlewares are like logger middleware uh, redux thunk redux saga and all these things because redux is synchronous and to deal with asynchronous apis in redux we have to use these set of middlewares if you wanted to log the current state and new action is coming what is the new state is going to be for that you can actually use redux logger which will keep logging your redux state every time so that you can pass here and finally we are creating store we are passing that store in the provider provider we are getting from redux so these three things we are getting from redux okay so this is pretty much the hello world example we can see this demo in the, the next video next video we will see how this redux dev tools are actually working okay thanks everyone